If you thought Australia started the much-anticipated bouncer war during the first test in Brisbane, think again. It was none other than Tony Gregg. That's courtesy. Let's see what happens here. He's out. Yes, he is out. But I would hazard a guess that uh, when Tony Gregg came to the batting crease, that he might be the recipient of one or two shorter pitch deliveries from Dennis Lilly. He's given me the uh, the message that it's, uh, there's a nice uh, cold shower waiting for me in the uh, pavilion. So as I went past him, I said, just remember one thing. Remember who started this. And I will never forget Dennis coming into the dressing room after, we, after he came off and saying to Ian, just remember who started this. And Ian said, what are you talking about? And he said, just remember who started this. Brian Luckhurst and I walked out and Dennis Lilly was right back on his at the end of his run. We thought, well, this is funny. You know, he's been bowling off a short run suddenly here. So Brian said, what do you think? And I said, well, I don't know, but you take first ball and we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And of course, Dennis came in and bowled quick. Having faced both of them, mind you, Lily in club cricket and quite a lot of Thompson in, in shield cricket, uh, all I knew was that, you know, standing 30 yards behind uh, the crease was a lot easier than standing at the crease facing the buggers. He's walked, he's out. Brilliantly caught by Marsh. Luckhurst caught Marsh. Bold Thompson. He was quick, and sometimes he hit the bat. Before the bat was ready to hit the ball, the ball hit the bat. And he thought, my gosh, you know, what, what was that? Hit the splice, and it's gone. And in the air, what's that? He's out. He's out. Amos caught Jenner. Bold Thompson. I, 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 just, I saw the, the look on the face of couple of the batsmen uh, and I, I didn't I wasn't laughing because you know I, I mean I, I knew how they were feeling it was uh, intimidating stuff it was dangerous stuff as he used to say I just uh, sort of shuffle up and go wham <laughs> Thompson bowling to the mess that was a pretty vicious ball that one well I do remember uh, my, my first ball for him because he, uh, he hit me on the shoulder is it uh, as it reared up, and um, that was quite painful, although I, I couldn't show it. And they'll play it on his bowl. We needed to attack them, otherwise we were just going to be fodder. And that's, the, the, that's what I adopted, and I decided also to try and stir them up a little bit. And I think uh, the storm signals are up. I think uh, Lily has intimated to Greg what his intentions are. We spent the first innings, uh, or England's first innings, trying to knock Tony Gregg's block off. And, and this happened mainly because every time he'd hit Dennis for four, he'd signal a boundary. The knee bowling to Gregg. And that's four. And look at Gregg now, signaling four for himself. That was Greggy, that was great, the way Greggy played, and uh, he, he always wanted to, to try and stir people up. He would try and stir Ian Chappell up each time. Uh, he would try and stir all the bowlers up. And that could be his 100, it's wide of Walters. Walters coming around very quickly, and he can't get to it, there's his 100. And if you make a 100 against guys on a pitch that suits them, you know, when it, when it was quick, those are the occasions you remember fondly. And I'm pleased that, you know, there are others that remember as well. He just got in there and he tried to give it back to us. He got away with that first dig, the 100, you know, I mean, because we were just trying to kill him and it was ridiculous. And that was the first time and the only time I ever seen Ian Chappell go uh, filthy. He got in that dress room and he just had a go at Dennis and I, you know, <laughs> calling us idiot just shortly and that. And we go, yeah, yeah, we He said, and you, you idiot, talking to me, he said, you're the one that should have got him out. You know, a Yorker straight into his big plates of meat and knock him, you know, head over heels and then if it was any good, hit the stuff. This is what he said. However, England's difficulties with the raw pace of Lillian Tomo were well and truly exposed during their second innings. Thompson to Edridge. And Bolian. Thompson to Amos. Chance and he's out. Caught by Walters. Thompson bowling to the mess. Caught by Walters. 
Enter Tony Gregg. Thompson bowling to Gregg. Oh, bowled him. Yorked him, leg stump. And the jubilation from the Australian team. He absolutely bowled me one of the best balls I've ever received. Um, in that second innings, we knocked my leg stump back, which that, that was the start of the sand shoe crusher thing, because I used to wear, I didn't used to wear spikes on my bat. Terrific to see that ball flying and, uh, you know, and, and stumps cartwheeling and the, the big sand shoe crusher coming in every now and again. And, you know, he, he was just a mixed bag, Tom. They, they were going all over the place, but, but quick. Thompson to Lever. And this is just out of the reach of Lily. In those days, you've either got a, a, uh, a cap on, you know, compared to these days, they come out like uh, Sir Lancelot, you know. So it's, it is a bit of a different story. The apprehension on some of the, some of the poor batsmen's uh, faces and in their eyes was, you know, it was, it was sort of, you could, you could see that, that, that they weren't all that happy about being there, some of them. It could be a catch, it's just short of Jenna. Hit him on the hand and he's threw his gloves off, that must have hurt. Chapel came up and said, Derek, how's the hand? Which one was it? And I said, oh, it was my right. And he said, oh, that's a shame we were aiming for the left. Bold, it's all over. Australia win by 166 runs. England all out for 166. And Australia win outright by 166 runs. I think if I was playing against Tomo, <laughs> as often as some of those guys had to, and him going at full revs, I don't think I'd have been too happy as a batsman.